This is uh, an instruction to help guide you to configure the uh, Welsh Allen Spot Vision Screener to a label printer. Uh, this is, uses three components. One, of course, is the Welsh Allen Spot Vision Screener. The other thing is a Cisco Linksys E1200 router. And the third thing is the Brother QL-720 NW label printer. In this uh, quick instruction, we're going to start with, let's say, everything disconnected. Uh, we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is with your laptop computer, we're going to disable the Wi-Fi network because we want to use the wired Ethernet network to configure things. On your keyboard, you probably have on your laptop one of those function keys that shows a picture of a little antenna. And when you uh, either go use control or alternate and you hit that antenna button, something like this comes up. And in this case, you can see that my wireless is already turned off. Uh, all, these look different on every computer, so be on the lookout for that. So then what we do is we connect a power cord to the router, plugging the power cord into the little round jack in the back, and then turn it on. Then we take our Ethernet cable. It has the same type of end uh, at each end. It's a little snap-in jack. looks like an overgrown telephone plug. You, we're going to plug one in the the laptop Ethernet port on the side and plug the other end into port one of the Ethernet ports. On the back of the router, we have four Ethernet ports counted, one, two, three, four. Then we have an Internet jack, which we're not going to use at all. And then uh, other controls here. The power cord, of course, is already plugged in there. So we're just using this one connection. On the laptop, we wait a couple of moments, and then we open up the web page browser. Now, remember, as we said before, the Internet is, uh, Wi-Fi is disabled, so we're not getting to the Internet there. And the Ethernet port is plugged into this router, which is turned on, but it is not plugged into the Internet either. So we would expect that after 15 to 20 seconds, the web browser would say, server not found. This is what we want. Okay, We don't want to accidentally connect to the wrong network. So um, what we do is in the address field of the browser, we type in the IP address of that router, which is 192 period 168 period 1 period 1. When you hit the enter key after typing that in, a little box will pop up asking for the username and password. The username you leave blank, and in the password you use all lowercase a d m i n. And then it'll log in, it'll show you this blue screen. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to go to the second section called wireless. And in that section, we're going to check the box that says manual and then hit save. And then we're going to go back to this window. It's in manual mode now. We're going to enter an SSID name of our choosing. We're naming this Wi-Fi network. And we're going to name it SPOT, all lowercase, S-P-O-T. And then we're going to hit Save, Settings, and Continue again. And finally, we're going to go, we were in the wireless section here. We're going to click on this tab to go into wireless security. And we're going to change this pull down from whatever it starts at to WAP, WPA2. WPA mixed mode, okay? And after making that selection, as you can see, we've typed that in, or we've made that pull-down selection, we type in the password that we want to use, underscore clear, underscore site, exclamation point. 
as you show here on the screen. And then we use Save Setting again, and then we continue. Now this is the back of the printer. We're still, uh, right now the laptop is only the only thing connected to the router. We want to unplug the Ethernet cable from the laptop and still connected to the uh, router. We're going to plug this into that middle port in the back of the printer. Okay. Now, I'm assuming here that we've already plugged in the power cable of the router, uh, excuse me, of the, of the printer. So th the power cord is plugged in, plugged into the wall, okay? We're not using the USB port. We're not using the parallel, the, print, the serial port. We're only using the Ethernet port for a network, okay? When we turn that printer around, we will make sure we turn it on. And so when it comes on, after a few moments, this Wi-Fi light may start blinking. And if it is, we want to press and hold the button right below the blinking light. Hold that until the light goes out. Okay, so we're at the situation now where we have a router that's been configured. We have the printer, and at this time, we have an Ethernet cable between the printer and the router. And now we want to try to configure that router. But we're not using the Wi-Fi from the printer just yet. We're using the Ethernet cable. And so what we want to do is we want to then, on the laptop, we want to enable the Wi-Fi port. Okay. Again, however you did the disabling before, in my case it was Control and then the Alt-9 key, which is uh, has a picture of an antenna on it. I will then turn it on and then select the port, the, the wireless or Wi-Fi port on my laptop that I want to use, and then I'll hit Close. So now my laptop is going Wi-Fi. Okay, and after a few moments, when I click Next, see it's currently not connected to a Wi-Fi port, or I might jump in right away and connect a local Wi-Fi signal that it sees. So down below on my laptop, I want to click on the Ethernet connection wizard in the bottom right corner near the clock. I want to find the signal uh, of our new router that we're configuring, and it was called Spot. We want to click on that. Okay. So what this will do, this will connect our laptop to the router. The router uses a wire to get to the brother printer. But a um, uh, when we're finishing this connection, when we say connect to spot, it'll ask us for a password, and we would type in underscore clear underscore site exclamation point. And then the printer and the laptop, well, the router and the laptop will be connected through uh, wirelessly, wirelessly through the Wi-Fi port. Now, on the printer... The, there's a cut button for cutting the labels. If you press and hold the cut button, five labels will print out. So let go as soon as let go of that button as soon as it starts printing. Uh, this will give us uh, uh, various parameters of the printer, including uh, the IP address of the printer. So when we click here to the next one. We, you can see that the IP address of the printer is 192.168.1.103. Okay. Now on the laptop, remember we're connected to the router directly, and then the router is connected to the printer. We want to type in the address, the IP address, in a web page browser of the printer. 
So we open up a new tab on the web browser that we were using before, and then we type in the 192.168.1.103. When we hit the Enter key, another pop-up should come up and ask us for, um, well, we will go to this blue website here. And so it's going to allow us to see this without a username and password. But then we want to click on this network configuration button here in the white section of the page. Okay, as soon as we click on that, it will then ask for a username and password again. Now, this is the username and password of the printer, which is different than what we were using before. In this case, the username is not blank. It's A-D-M-I-N again. Uh, um, and then the password is just access, A-C-C-E-S-S. -S. Then we click the OK button, and then we're off to the next step. We, we go into the actual network configuration, and there's two types, wired and wireless. We are connected wireless, um, wired right now, but we don't really want to use that long term. We want to go with wireless connection. So we want to click on the wireless connection tab, and then we want to configure the wireless. In the personal tab section, we want to uh, be able to configure this information. It's not configured yet, even though it shows it. Uh, the communication mode, which was the first item, we want to use the pull-down menu or drop-down to pick infrastructure mode. Then in the SSID section, we want to type in SPOT and then click OK. The channel number, uh, we, don't want to have, we don't want to change. In the, in the security section, the authentication mode, is WPA, WPA2-PSK. And then finally, the encryption mode is left alone. That's TKIP. If I go back to that previous screen, you'll see the spot, uh, well, infrastructure mode spot, channel number, which we didn't change, WPA, WPA2-PSK, and then TKP. So now we can move forward here. Finally, if we scroll down that screen a little bit, down at the bottom, there's the passphrase. We want to type in underscore clear underscore site exclamation point. And then when we hit the save bu the submit button at the bottom of the screen, after a few moments, it'll say data updated successfully. So that's really good news. Okay. And then finally. <clears throat> What we want to do is we want to go back to the router and unplug the Ethernet cable that goes between the router and the printer. At this time, the Wi-Fi is not turned on, so we will turn it on. We're going to press and hold the Wi-Fi button here, just below where that light was before. Hold it until it begins to flash. It's going to flash for several seconds. It's going to then connect to the router wirelessly, and then the light will go solid to indicate that we are in the Wi-Fi mode. Okay. And then finally, we're going to connect this spot vision screener. Uh, we're going to turn the, the spot vision screener on at this point. That will take about a minute. And then we will go to Tools and select Network. Under SSID, we will type the name SPOT like we did before. Below that, the security type is WPA. And then the passphrase down at the bottom of that screen, we want to type in underscore clear underscore site, exclamation point. So now we've typed in all that stuff, and then we want to hit Save for all of that. And, and um, there's usually about a 30-second delay, and then the spot is sees the network. Then we want to hit the Home button on this spot screener. We want to go to Tools, and then we want to pick the 
printer this section this time. It's very possible that the brother QL720NW appears. If there's another printer, you might want to select that and then delete it, and then you want a printer. Okay. Um, so you, you do that by collect, clicking on Edit. And then uh, when you click on Edit, you'll see a list of printers. There's a double left arrow where you click on that and you go to the beginning of the list and the QL720NW printer is near about halfway down that first list. And then hit Save. Once you hit Save, the printer is now configured and you can hit Print Test Page. That's at the bottom of the screen. And when you hit that Print Test Page, this label prints out. Okay, the sample printout. This is a sample um, test failure. So that's basically the setup. Everything should be good to go. But before you go off in the field, hoping that everything works, we're going to just turn everything off, the printer, the router, and the spot vision screener. Uh, wait a few moments or a minute for everything to turn off completely. The light should stop blinking and whatever. The spot screen should go blank. And then uh, turn just the router on first, and then turn on the printer again. You wait until the printer Wi-Fi light is turned on steady, which means it will blink three or four times. And then once you know that the printer and router is set up, turn on the spot and wait for it to show your network. And uh, it should look like it's almost uh, uh, operational. You then can go into Tools, select Printer, and then look for that Print Test page again. And so now you've not only configured everything, you have verified that it still works. The, uh, the laptop is not being used. That, the the spot uh, vision screener talks to the router in a wireless fashion. The router talks to the printer in a wireless fashion. The router is, the, let's say, the control of the situation. But all of them are wireless. They can be plugged into separate outlets, you know, within, uh, you know, 50 feet of each other. You know, if it's a really big room, they don't have to be together. If you have to find other outlets to plug them in, they they can be separated a bit. It's handy to have a, a good extension cord with uh, multiple connections so it's just easy to have the power cables plugged in. And that's it. Uh, good luck screening. Have a good day.